Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, uh, well, I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to cover the Frauditor slash uh, Prankster channel to a pre. I never covered him so far. Uh, but in this case, I think I'll make an exception for him because this is just too bizarre for me to pass up. Considering in this case, he decides to dress up as a butterfly and uh, do an audit and ends up getting arrested. Well, Taco Terry dressed up as a taco, and now we call him Taco Boy, so we might as well call to a pre butterfly boy. At any rate, let's go and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, no, thank you. Do you need services? Oh, no, not at this time. No it's services? Charles. Oh, no, thank you. And this is Charles Town and, and John Brown. Uh, Are you just looking for brochures? Oh, no, no, I'm just, I'm just looking around. Conduct business. So. I'm conducting business. With the city? Yeah. Well, what are you doing? I'm the free press. I'm Butterfly Boy. I'm sorry? I'm uh, the free press Butterfly Boy vlogging. What is that? Well, it's like operating through the free press and Butterfly Boy to, likes to do vlogging of the city. So. Okay, so we do have the police who are responding, but I'm just going to make you aware. Oh, you're saying, you said please? Police. Oh, that's right. You said. Yeah, part of this character is talking in a very soft voice. And you know what it makes me want to do? It makes me want to go find a Glenn Serio video and listen to him screaming just to balance it out. Please? No. Police. What are you asking? As ask in law enforcement. Oh, I thought, I, thought you were, you I thought you were asking me something nicely. No, so I'm I always say please. That's not accessible to the public. Oh, so oh, this I is see. only accessible to the public if you're conducting business. Oh, perfect. So but Butterfly Boy can do his business here then, right? Well... The police are on their way, so... You're saying police or the police? The police. Oh, I thought you were, say I thought you were saying, like, no. being polite. No, law enforcement. I thought, you were, that term. I thought you were being polite, like everyone should say, please. No, no, no. So, Which we are... Which being polite. Yo, she is. But if you don't have official business with the city, other people do have to come in here, so... Oh, I, I do have business here, sir. Uh, you don't. Yes, yes, I do, sir. Butterfly Boy has business here. I didn't hear what you said, but I'm pretty sure you know. A butterfly Boy does have business. Um, so anyways, um, Charles Town and John Brown, that rhymes. It's a quote, it's almost like they're rapping. Are you rap? local? Oh, I, ju I just flap around it. I just flap around most, like, myself. Where, wherever, like, the best stuff is. Hey, how are you? Um, so yeah. What's going on, man? What's that? What's going on? Uh, what, what do you mean? Do you have a reason that you're standing in here right now? Oh, well, you seem a little bit aggressive. Right no, now. I'm not being aggressive. I'm being forward. No, you came up to me. Okay, okay, so they asked you to leave. You can stand outside and do whatever you want outside. Okay, but you can't be in here. Okay, okay you have no purpose for here. Oh, yeah, I do. No, what's your purpose then? But you assumed I didn't have a purpose before you even asked. Okay, because I've already been, they've already told me what's going on. So what is your purpose for being here? But as an ossifer, you're supposed to investigate both, both sides of the story. Okay, so that's why I'm asking you. What are you here for? But you weren't investigating both sides at first. I'm asking you right now. Oh, yeah, I'm just doing my butterfly boy business. I'm with the free press. Okay. So, yeah, just look at some stuff and then I'll be out soon. Out soon? Okay, so you got your little, you got your little, uh, whatever that is, so. Oh yeah, it's about Charles Town. Okay, okay, so you have your, you have your pamphlet, they asked you to leave, okay, so you need to leave. Well now, it appears at this point that the butterfly has intentions of getting arrested to begin with, I mean, the way he's acting. Even though he's got a real soft voice, he's still very much as condescending and rude and, uh, well, rough around the edges like any other frauditor would be. So I think he's definitely fishing for a arrest right now, just for clicks and views on his channel. Okay, but is you, he, but I'm with the free press, though. I'm just doing butterfly boy stuff. You're okay. trespassing. You have no reason to be here. Standing in here, they asked you to leave, so you need to leave. Oh, okay, is it, but isn't this a publicly owned building? Is it? Yeah, but if you have no business to be here, oh, I do. Then you need to leave. Oh yeah, I'm doing butter, butterfly boy press. Hey, officer, how are you? Hey, how are you, officer? I'm saying hi, officer. How are you? What, what's going on? I'm saying hi to him. He's, he's not even responding. He's conduct in the city. He's going around in the places that are not accessible to the public, and he's filming everyone and just flapping around in here. 
<laughs> the only the only thing she said that was true was the flapping part, flapping around. What, what are you doing her. here, sir? You didn't even say hi to me. You came in very aggressive. What are you doing here? Can you say hi to me first? No. What are you doing here? I just want to say hi. Leave. No, no, it's a public. You want leave. you want a citation for no, trespassing? No, but it's not okay. A... Then you need to leave. Okay. Oh, I'm, still I'm being doing... very nice. I'm sure they were nice to you no, to tell you, you guys to leave. Are being very aggressive with my oh, I'm not being aggressive. You guys are being very aggressive with my Oh, I'm not being aggressive. Yes, you are. You're no, I'm not. Yes, yes, you are. I see. Your eye contact is very aggressive. My eye. Okay, come on. But I'm Suddenly, let's go. Come on. Come on. No, I don't let's want that. Go. go. Give me a handcuffs in a minute. Let's go. No, no, officer, You've been I... given an order to leave. The, I'm just with the no, group. We're, we're done talking. Out. Why are you yelling at me right now? Because you're not listening to what I'm telling you to do. So walk out. Do you want to go to jail? I don't know Is that what you want to say? No, no, I don't you want a citation? Then no. you need to leave. Come on, this way. I'm talking. Go. I Find another place to go. Why don't you touch butterfly boy like Find another place to go. Well, now, uh, these two officers are being as professional as they can be, considering that this guy seems to be nothing more than a complete moron in a butterfly costume. I mean, it could be worse. We could be dealing with Taco Terry. You, you put me in a wrist lock and you bent my wrist. Move. I'm going that way. Don't move. Don't move. You guys were mean to Butterfly Boy. I will flip, but why did you guys assault me like that? As Bert Butterfly Boy's wrist, he has fragile wrists. Why are you guys surrounding me like that? Do you have a phone? Can I use your phone? I want to call 911. No, you have a phone in your hand. We're you done. Why are you do not go back in there, all right? You can walk around yeah, outside yeah. and do whatever you want outside, okay? But you cannot go back in there. Do you understand? You if doing? you go back in there, you're going to go to jail. Yeah, you understand me? Go back in there, you'll be arrested for obstructing. Do you understand me? For what? For obstructing. Well, what I'm was... giving you a lawful order not to go back in there. So if you go back in there, you're going to jail. Do you understand me? Well, what was I obstructing? Do you mind Start giving... walking. Can I have your name and badge? It number? says it right here. Noble. But you're okay? not being very noble right now. No, and do you have a badge number, by chance? We don't use badge numbers. Do you have a badge number, sir? Unit number Oh, do you have a unit number? 111. And that's Manning? Yeah. You're acting overly manly. You're over Manning right now. I'm what? You're over Manning right now. I don't know what to talk about. You know, your name's Manning? Yes. Well, you're over Manning. You're like manhandling me. I wasn't manhandling you. We were given an order to leave when we escorted you out of the building because you refused to leave. So why don't you go somewhere else? But Ossifer, it's a puppy. I was just doing my free press. They don't want you here. It doesn't matter if they don't want butterflies. They just don't. They just don't like butterflies. Maybe someone else wants some butterflies. Try walking that way, pass out some butterflies. Okay, but just so I understand, isn't this a publicly owned public building? It's a public building for public business. If you're not conducting public business, you're not. You're not to be here. They don't want you here. Okay, perfect. So I am conducting public business. So is that cool if I go back in and conduct no. my... You're not conducting public business. What? But yes. Is done. Yes, I am. You guys are interfering with my First Amendment right to do my Butterfly Boy free press. Yes. No. This is a Tom Bain violation, sir. And you were in a restricted area. Show me where the sign was. It's, uh, you were in, in the, outside the, the, the lobby there. You were in the back, which is a restricted area. But there was no restricted access signs. It needs to There's be... There's a door. It was unlocked, though. So you just go out of people's homes and just open the doors and walk on in? No, not homes. Just mm -hmm. only if I'm doing First Amendment protected uh, butterfly. Yeah, I'm tired about the First Amendment. I, I, that's all we you're, hear. You're First tired Amendment. about rights? If you go back in there, you're going to get arrested. Well, Pardon me, officer, but I do believe this idiot does have the brain of a butterfly because he doesn't seem to understand that you could be trespassed from any building, even if it's publicly accessible. So just go in and clip his wings and take him in. Obstructing. We'll be trespassing first, then, then probably you're obstructing them, is what I'm guessing. Yeah. But you've been given an order not to go back in, so if you go back in, you'll be trespassing. I understand, though, it is First Amendment, though, respectfully. And I'm, and I'm letting you know that if you go back in there, okay, things aren't going to be called, okay? Because I'm going to have to yell at you again, and then you're going to go to jail. Are Can I come in with her? Yes, ask some questions. Yeah, I have some questions too, guys. Guys, do know it is a First Amendment protected activity for Butterfly Boy to be in here gathering his free press, right? Disturbance right now. Um, okay, can I? You are. They're trying to conduct official government business, so you're interrupting government process right now. Okay, close the door. Okay, at this point, the idiot realizes that he's not going to get anywhere with this. He needs to get arrested to get his clicks and views, so he's going to do something uh really stupid. He's going to make a fake nine one one call. Well, dude, that will certainly get you a one-way ticket to jail in a lot of areas. So, please continue with your stupidity. They just don't like butterflies. Oh, butterfly 
boy's calling 911. I'm calling. Because he's wearing are you? Yes, he is harassing me because of that. Hi, I have these two officers who um, are violating my rights and they're not letting me into the city hall building. And he grabbed me by my wrist and, and he threw me out and they're like yelling at me. I'm sorry, it's very hard to understand. These dirty police came to the city hall and, and they kicked out Butterfly Boy and they grabbed my wrist and and they're very dangerous, they're very dangerous. We need officers out here. Sorry, but you're at city hall, there's police officers there. Yes, they're dangerous, they're dangerous officers, we need supervisors. Um, the officer just told me to hang up, so I'm gonna have to go. No, don't hang up. Oh gosh, she's come, she's marching over here and um, yeah. Hi, oh, excuse me. All right, Hi. Alright, come here, put your hands on your back. For what? What are you doing? I'm using it correctly because these you guys are violating my rights. Oh, I'm sorry. You have no idea what's going on, so why don't you just keep quiet? So after 24 hours of no sleep in the main pot of a West Virginia correctional facility being questioned by gang members all night and being forced to bunk with a convicted killer, and after refusing to have a single bite of food or drop of water, Butterfly Boy heads straight back to the front lines where it all started, because he's a warrior, Butterfly. Oh, Butterfly Boy's in a great mood now. Really, dude, is prancing around like a butterfly, uh, acting like a complete moron, and getting arrested for using the 911 system incorrectly, uh, is, is it really worth it? Hey, remember me? I spent the night in jail because of you. Have you ever spent overnight in jail? If you interrupt this process, I guarantee you will spend another night. Oh, is that a... Choose wisely. Oh, I will choose wisely. I'm in public still. Okay. Jail wasn't chill at all. It was actually scary. She doesn't like Butterfly Boy. She doesn't like Butterfly Boy. Butterfly Boy. You gonna join us today, sir? Oh no, what are you doing? I was just wondering. What are we doing? We're just gonna have a word of prayer. Okay, I don't wanna yeah. know. I'm gonna okay. Watch All yourself. Right. Have a good right. Well, this guy is certainly different. Uh, far cry from uh, some of the other frauditors that I normally cover. Uh, but still, uh, he's more of a fruitcake than a lot of the other frauditors out there, anyway. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.